Standpoint is a first-person puzzle exploration game, much like Portal and Cube and all the other first-person puzzle games that I've talked about in the past and enjoyed. So, this is yet another along those styles, except in this one, it's based upon the five stages of grief. Now, I noticed that there was a Kickstarter that I had no idea about, because apparently the YouTubers and people that had been contacted about that didn't really spread it about much, and so they failed the Kickstarter because of that. You know, they really didn't get enough advertising or people talking about it. But it's quite an enjoyable game, and there are five stages for each of the five stages of grief. You might think, hmm, actually there's only four because you overcome loss straight away, so there's 20 levels. You might think, hmm, that's a little short, but trust me when I say that things get very difficult very quickly, and rather than it being quite a bit of repetition, they do introduce new things pretty much every level, and so, yeah, it does get very complicated very quickly with lots and lots of different mechanics being thrown at you. You do have to think on your feet and adapt, like you might think you know what you're doing in one particular circumstance, but sometimes it could throw that in your face just to trick you, when really you have to do something else entirely to get to what you can see through what was once a breakable wall and now it's just there to trick you to make you think, well that's the way to get into it, and really there's secret entrances. Now, every level pretty much has secrets, and there is a narrated plot behind the thing, voiced by who I think sounds like Maggie from Tiny Keep, I don't know if she actually is, so yeah, there goes my association with that. But there's an underlying plot, and I'm not going to spoil the plot for you. Needless to say, it revolves around happiness and sadness and grief and all the other things of emotions, so... Yeah, you clearly overcame loss in the first level, so you lost something or someone. Someone? Oh, is it you that got lost? I don't know. You know, it's one of these things. <laughs> Try not to spoil it entirely. Yeah, so anyway, it's a really fun game, even though it gets really difficult, and some of the puzzles can get fright quite frustrating at times, but isn't that Part of the point, for example, when you're on anger, there might be some puzzles that will lead you to anger in different ways, whether it's through frustration or confusion or whole heaps of other emotions that could easily be associated with the particular emotional level of the five stages of grief without having the grief yourself. So I think they do quite a good job at putting you through those emotions. So, yeah, denial, it denies you access to different things, anger, it deliberately sets out to anger you. I haven't quite got further than that as yet, so that goes to show how long it might take you to actually complete the game and how much effort it might take to put in to beat the puzzles. If you want a challenging puzzler, this is definitely the game for you. So, I'd recommend giving it a go, having a purchase if you enjoy these sorts of games acceptance on then I can't remember what the last stage of grief is but there might even be one between anger and acceptance I think acceptance must be the final one um what is it it's where you're not accepting it it's denial no we've had denial denial's the first one hmm I'm lost anyway yeah so they're the Five stages of grief without the one that I can't remember. <laughs> and puzzles based entirely upon that and very difficult mechanics and different things and you can shift perspectives from all the different walls and traverse the environment in that way with blocks and buttons and the usual puzzle mechanics that you expect to find in games such as this. But all done in a very clever way. And if maybe the Kickstarter had got funded better, there might have been more levels and even more features. But if you buy the game and the dev sees that you all enjoy it, there's more likelihood of more games of this nature being produced by this developer in the future. And it's definitely a promising game and very well done, very well put together. There aren't any noticeable flaws. I mean, some of the mechanics you can sometimes cheese, but 
that's not necessarily a flaw of the game, you know. It's not like missing textures or really broken mechanics or a broken game. It's just something that I accidentally figured out, <laughs> well, through experimentation, because I thought, hmm, I bet I could do that. And don't expect to be able to do it in the final version, because I will have told the dev that you can do it. So, yeah, this is Standpoint. Go check it out for yourself. It's out on the March the 6th. So... It was pushed back from this for from February. This will be out in March. This video, so yeah, very very soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.